Hello, uh, this video is, is going to show you how to create a graph in Tinkerplot uh, by um, adding your data in by scratch. Uh, in the previous video, I showed you how to import data from a Google spreadsheet into Tinkerplot. So this video is, is going to show you how to create uh, a graph by manually inputting your data instead of using a spreadsheet. So of course you want to have Tinkerplots open and to um, add data you're going to click on cards and you're going to drag it where you would like it and I'm just going to increase the size of the card stack. Uh, attribute refers to variable, uh, value the data and unit of course the units of data. So in attributes, you're basically putting in your variables, your independent variable and your dependent variables. Um, so to do so, you want to click in new attribute, double click, and it'll allow you to type in uh, one of the variables. So we'll, we'll start with independent variable. So let's say we manipulated the amount of order. And then you click in value. Uh, to put the amount of water. So let's just say it was 10 milliliters. So you have 10 and then for unit, make sure you put in milliliters. And notice that you can drag uh, to change the size of your, your columns. Um, and again, you can you know make your card stack larger so you can see. So this was your independent variable. Now let's say the responding variable, the dependent variable, uh, you double click. And let, let, let's say it was, you know, the length of mealworms. And click for value. Now let's say for uh, 10 milliliters of water, the length of mealworms was, you know, 22 centimeters. So you have 22. Click in here for the units, centimeters. And so you have your first data set. Now to add in more data, you're just going to click on the right arrow. Notice it copied the variables as well as the units, so you just put in more data. So let's say this was uh, now 20 milliliters of water, and let's say the length of the mealworm was, you know, 56 centimeters. And let's click again for more data, so the right arrow. And let's say this was 30 milliliters of water, and let's say the length of the mealworm went to, you know, 75 centimeters. So you can click um, the left arrow to see previous data, and again, the right arrow to go further uh, um, to see more data. Um, now let's say we actually had two dependent variables. So not only did we measure the length of the mealworm in response to the change in the amount of water, but let's double click on new attribute to add in our second dependent variable. And let's say we actually took the mass of the mealworm. And then we click it for value. Um, now let's say there were, you know, uh, 2.5 grams. Okay. And then again, we want to, and this is for 10 milliliters of water. Now let's click the right arrow to get for 20 milliliters of water. And let's say this was 3.5 grams. And then, you know, let's look at the last data set and let's just say 6.7 grams. So now you have all of your data that you want to make into a graph, and you just make sure the card stack is highlighted so you can now make your, your graph. So you're going to uh, move up to a plot and then drag it over where you would like to put your graph. And let's just increase the size of this graph. And basically the same rules apply um, as in the previous video. Um, so you have your data set up here, and then to make your graph, you know, it's just about clicking on an attribute. Typically, independent variable goes on the horizontal axis down here. And then you can pick either of the dependent variables. Let's just go for mass of mealworm, put it on the vertical axis. And then like I showed you before, you can click on individual dots and move them up and move them to the side. So just to get rid of these lines if you were so inclined to do so. And you have a nice, a nice scatter plot here. Um, and you know, if you want to make a graph about the um, second dependent variable, you can you can just do the same thing. Um, and in the other videos, I, I showed you how to change this scatter plot into a bar graph. I also showed you how to copy this graph as a picture and 
and put into a, a Microsoft Word or some other word processing software, and you are free to uh, view those videos for more information. Thank you so much.